Bonjour et bienvenue à Coffee Break French. Welcome back to Coffee Break French. Now today we're going to be talking about the family. Quite often, if you're on holiday, you may have to introduce members of your family. So we'll be learning the vocabulary for various members of the family and also how to say he is called and she is called. I hope you enjoy today's lesson. You're on holiday in France and you are at, let's say, a campsite in the south of France and you're there with your family. You want to practice your French and one of the easiest ways to practice your French with perhaps the people in the next caravan or next tent would be to talk about your family and introduce people to them. And that's what we're going to be doing today, learning words to introduce our family members. Obviously, not all of this content will apply to you, but if you learn the words, you'll be practicing your pronunciation and you'll be expanding your vocabulary at the same time. So let's start repeating these words. I'll say the word, I'll leave a space, and then Anna, if you can repeat after that. D'accord? Très bien. Okay, the first one is sœur. Sœur. Now, sœur means sister. Sœur. Sœur. Okay. And the opposite, in a sense of sister, is brother. And this is frère. Frère. Okay, it's quite complicated because it's got the two r sounds in there. Frère. Frère. Okay, so we've got sœur. Sœur. Frère. Frère. So brother and sister, frère et sœur. Frère et sœur. I'm not 100% sure if we've already come across et before, the word for and. Et, it's actually spelled E-T, but it's pronounced et. Et. Frère et sœur. Frère et sœur. Okay, let's learn another couple of words. Another couple. We'll learn mère. 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 Any guesses as to what mère means? Could it mean mother? Yeah, it's mother. So, mère. Mère. And the opposite of mère is père. 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 And you've probably guessed what that means. Father? Yeah, exactly. So, let's run through the four we've got so far. We've got frère. Frère, sœur, sœur, mère, mère, père, père. Ok. To say my brother and my father, you use the word mon. 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 Père. Mon père. That's my father. Mon père. Mon père. My brother would be? Mon frère. Exactement. Mon frère. Mon frère. Now, when you say my sister or my mother, you use a different word for my if you're used to Spanish, then you'll be used to just using the one word for my, for my brother, my sister, and so on. And indeed, in English, we have just the one word, my. But in French, you need to change it. You need to change it for masculine and feminine words. So, while we say mon frère and mon père, you say ma sœur. Ma sœur. And therefore, my mother would be... Ma mère. Ma mère, très bien. So, mon frère, mon père, ma sœur, ma mère. 
let's add in some more words for talking about your family. If, for example, you're perhaps on holiday with your husband, you would talk about mon mari. Mon mari. So the word for husband is mari. Mari. My husband. Mon mari. Mon mari. Très bien. And if you were talking about your wife, you would talk about ma femme. Ma femme. Okay, so the word for wife is femme. Now be careful with that one, because if you see that written down, you'll notice that it's spelled F-E-M-M-E. So you'd almost pronounce that if you just looked at it as femme, but it's femme. Femme. So, my wife, ma femme. Ma femme. Okay, so there are a couple more words that we're going to learn in this section. We're going to first of all learn the word for son and daughter. Son is fils. 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 My son, therefore, mon fils. Mon fils. Mon fils. Mon fils. Okay, and the word for daughter is very similar. It's fille. Fille. Yeah, that's quite a tricky word to say. Listen carefully. Fille. Fille. And you can decide to, to do a sort of y at the end or just leave it as fille. Fille. Or fille. Fille. It kind of depends where you are and which part of the French-speaking world you are. If you're talking about my daughter, how would you say my daughter? Ma fille. Ma fille. Ma fille. And my son? Mon fils. Très bien. Mon fils. Mon fils. Excellent. Now, I said there was going to be one more word here, and that is the word for children. And the word for child in general is enfant. 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 That's a good word for practicing your nasal sounds. Enfant. Enfant. And the plural of this, the word for children, is, sounds exactly the same, although it's got a silent S on the end. So you would say enfant. Enfant. For children. And to say my children, this time we're not talking about the masculine or the feminine form of the word for my. We're talking about the plural form. And yet there is another word for my. In this case, it's the plural word. And the plural is me. Me. And it ends in an S. So normally the S is silent. But when it's followed by a vowel... It becomes mes, in this case, mes enfants. Mes enfants. Mes enfants. Mes enfants. Try that one more time. Mes enfants. Mes enfants. Now, is that like but me? That's a very good question. The word for but, when we learned last week, uh, je viens de Londres, mais j'habite à Paris. That word, mais, there meant but. It's actually spelt differently. It's spelt M-A-I-S in comparison to the word for my children, which is spelt M-E-S. And this varies very slightly depending on which part of the French-speaking world you are, but you may hear a slight difference between mais, as in mes enfants, and mais, mais j'habite À Paris. So, mais, but, and mais, my. But I'm sure you'll be able to work out from the context. Yeah, I do remember that from the little bit of French that I did at school, but I remember there being words that sound really similar, but when you look at them written down, they look totally different. 
Exactly. I think the other thing in French that makes things quite tricky is the fact that quite often there are letters in a word that are completely silent, like all these S's that only sound when you run them together with, with vowels afterwards. Okay, we've, we've looked at the words for family members. We've had frère, sœur, père, mère, mari, femme, uh, fils, fille and enfant. But we can't just sort of point at someone and say, mon frère, ma mère, and so on. We've got to say, here is, or this is. Now, there are various ways of doing this in French. We could say, I'd like to introduce you to my mother. And we will cover that in just a moment, but we're going to start with probably the most simple way of doing this. And that's using one word, the word being voici. 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 So you could say, voici mon frère. Voici mon frère. So here is my brother. Or, voici mes enfants. Voici mes enfants. Here are my children. Now, notice that it's the same word, regardless of whether it's a masculine person, a feminine person, or plural. Voici mon frère, voici ma sœur, voici mes enfants. Voici. Voici. Now, as I said earlier, there's another way of doing this. We could say, I'd like to introduce you to my brother, for example. And there are a couple of ways of doing this. Let's concentrate first on the situation where you're with your new French friend. So you're going to use the informal version. I would then say, je... Te présente mon frère. Je te présente. Je te présente. Okay, now présente comes from the verb présenter, literally meaning to present. In this case, it's used as to introduce. So, je te présente, I to you introduce. Je te présente mon frère. Je te présente mon frère. I just watch that. It's présente. Présente. Je te présente mon frère. Je te présente mon frère. Okay. Now, another situation may be where you're in a formal scenario. So you're saying perhaps to a business colleague or, or your boss or something like that. I would like to introduce you to my brother. Let's stick with the same example. We wouldn't say here, je te présente, that te meaning to you, but in the informal version, we would say, je vous présente, mon frère. 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 Okay, now, this is quite a useful phrase because, in fact, it's the same phrase that you would use when talking to a group of people, whether it's informal or formal. If you're talking to lots of people and say, this is my brother, here is my brother, I'd like to introduce you to my brother, you can use this, je vous présente mon frère. Je vous présente mon frère. Excellent, très bien. Now, if you're introducing someone, whether you're using voici, Je te présente, je vous présente. The one thing that is important is that you say a little more about the person than just, here is my brother. For example, it would be nice to say, he is called, and give his name. So I could say, je vous présente mon frère. Il s'appelle Guillaume. Now, listen to that last section again. Il s'appelle Guillaume. Il s'appelle Guillaume. Guillaume is a French version of the name William. I could equally have said il s'appelle William, il s'appelle John, il s'appelle Robert, whatever. Il s'appelle he calls himself or he is called. Il s'appelle. Il s'appelle. Il s'appelle. Il s'appelle. And if I was talking about a female relative, voici ma mère. 
Elle s'appelle Anne. Elle s'appelle Anne. Très bien. So we've had il s'appelle, he is called or he calls himself, and elle s'appelle, she calls herself, she is called. Try these. Il s'appelle. Il s'appelle. Elle s'appelle. Elle s'appelle. Can you remember back to when we learned I am called? What's that? Je m'appelle. Yeah, excellent. Je m'appelle. The m apostrophe in there, je m'appelle, means I myself call. Je m'appelle. So, il s'appelle. The s apostrophe there is he himself calls. He calls himself. And elle s'appelle, she calls herself. So it's exactly the same situation there. We also learned to say, here are my children. Voici mes enfants. Now to say, they are called, you can actually say, il s'appelle. Okay, now is that the same as he is called? Well, it actually sounds exactly the same as he is called. Il s'appelle. He is called. Il s'appelle. They are called. But it's spelt differently and it's got a silent part at the end of il s'appelle. It actually ends in ENT. And if you're using the enhanced podcast, you'll have seen that already. Il s'appelle Jean et Claude. They are called Jean and Claude. Okay, I understand. Très bien. That's really about it for this lesson. We're going to finish off here. We've actually covered quite a lot in today's lesson, but hopefully you've understood it all and hopefully you've found it useful to talk about your family when you're going to be abroad in a French-speaking country. We'll be talking more about family in next week's show. And that's where we're going to leave it today for this edition of Coffee Break French. Thanks for joining us and we hope it's been useful. You can join the Coffee Break French community on Facebook at facebook.com slash coffeebreakfrench and we're at Learn French on Twitter. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt. This is a production of the Radiolingua Network. Find out more at radiolingua.com.